from NBC News, former CIA officer charged with spying for China, busted in a sting operation conducted by the FBI and was caught red-handed selling American national security secrets to the Chinese government. This is incredible. But before I get into it, I'd like to say greetings YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. If you are a new or recurring viewer, please take the time to like and share this video. And if you'd like to contribute to helping this channel grow, to help us get up to 100 subscribers, click that subscribe button below and also click that little notification bell so you can be notified of any future updates. And today, I've got this article from NBC News written by Pete Williams. A 15-year veteran of the CIA was charged Monday with selling U.S. secrets to China then unwittingly admitting his spying to the FBI. Court documents said 67-year-old Alexander Yuk-Ching Ma of Honolulu was charged with violating U.S. espionage laws. Prosecutors said he joined the CIA in 1967 and then served as a CIA officer until he retired from the agency in 1989. Part of the time, he was assigned to work overseas in the East Asia and Pacific region. Twelve years after he retired, prosecutors said Monday that Ma met with at least five officers of China's Ministry of State Security in a Hong Kong hotel room where he, quote, disclosed a substantial amount of highly classified national defense information, including facts about the CIA's internal organization, methods for communicating covertly, and the identities of CIA officers and human assets. After leaving the CIA, investigators said, Ma got a job as a Chinese linguist in the FBI's Honolulu field office. He used his new job and security clearance to copy or photograph classified documents related to guided missile and weapon systems and other U.S. secrets and pass the information to his Chinese handlers, court documents said. When the FBI became aware of Ma's activities, prosecutors said, an undercover FBI employee arranged a meeting, posing a representative of the Chinese government. The undercover operative claimed to be conducting an investigation into how Ma had been treated, including the amount he had been compensated, court documents said. A video recording showed Ma counting $2,000 in cash provided by the undercover operative, who said it was to acknowledge his work on behalf of China. Investigators said Ma, who was born in Hong Kong, explained that he, quote, wanted the motherland to succeed and admitted that he provided classified information to the Ministry of State Security and continued to work with some of its representatives who were at the 2001 meeting. The charges against Ma represent the latest in a series of setbacks against U.S. efforts to conduct espionage targeting China. Another former CIA officer, Jerry Chun Shing Li, was sentenced to 19 years in prison last year after pleading guilty to conspiring with Chinese intelligence agents starting in 2010 after he left the agency. NBC News reported that information he provided helped China and other nations compromise the CIA's method of communicating secretly with its foreign agents, leading to the deaths of Chinese informants. In 2015, the government revealed that, that Chinese intelligence hackers had stolen reams of sensitive personnel files from the Office of Personnel Management, including security clearance applications of intelligence officers and other national security operatives. American officials said they feared that data and other personal information on U.S. citizens stolen by the Chinese from private companies has allowed China to better identify American operatives spying overseas. And that is the end of the article. I will put a link in the description below so you can come and check it out for yourself draw your own opinions and conclusions from it. As for my own two cents, I think what this article is trying to do is make the American people aware that our own spy agencies and intelligence gathering capabilities have been infiltrated and extorted by foreign actors working on behest of foreign governments. Now I'd like to invite you to go into the comments below, tell me what you think about this. Do you agree or disagree with the way that America collects information from other countries and also discuss the role of the spine network as a whole and with that i will wish you a good day and i will see you later